Good morning everyone! Welcome to a new Super 69 EV film. And as you can see, I am again not back in my i3. I promise you an update from the i3 will be coming soon. But today I am in what could be my next car. Because the BMW i7, let's be honest, it's just too expensive for me. I love it, I adore it. It's the best car I've ever driven. There's no better way to travel on land than in a BMW i7 at the moment, I think. Very curious how about, uh, about the Rolls-Royce Spectre. Uh, but I, I think if you go for an EV that's ultra luxury, I think it takes the cake. Maybe a Lucid is good, I'm not sure. I haven't driven one, they're not around. But the i7, oh man, I love it. But what I'm in today is, yeah, maybe just as special. It's the BMW i4 M50. This car is Brooklyn Grau, uh, Brooklyn Gray, uh, with uh, cognac leather interior, and it has the M Sport Pro seats. And it's a lovely, lovely thing. It's it's just. I adore it. When I drove off in it, I, uh, I I have had it for three days now, and I have to give it back in oh, in 150 kilometers. I drove it for around, I think, 220 kilometers or something. And when I got it, I was like, yeah, it's okay. It's a, it's a four series with a load of power, and it's, it's quiet, and it's spacious enough. And, Okay, nice car. Fine, whatever. But the more I drove it, the more it started to grow on me. And I really like the looks. I think it's a pretty car. It could tow my caravan. It's so fast. Yeah. Go figure. 544 horsepower. And yeah, it's just really pretty. I really like the dashboard with... The Apple CarPlay integration is of course perfect. Love the iDrive. The carbon fiber uh, in this car is yeah, I really, really, really like it. I think it's very pretty. There's the Harman Kardon sound system. There's the roof, uh, which I wouldn't want. Uh, ultimately, I would order one without it. Yeah, and it has the optional laser lights. Now, I haven't driven it in the dark, so I can't comment on how good they are yet, but uh, I drove the i7 with those lights in the dark, and yeah, they're just tremendous. My uh, my i3 has really decent headlights, but this is, this is just next level. It's wow, wow. BMW, I know I've criticized you in the past for the looks of your cars, but mm, yeah. If the, if the cars are this good, it's just wow. It has also the i4 M50 has air suspension in the back. And it's this car rides on 19 inch wheels. My dream spec would have 18s because it's just a bit more subtle. But it's very, very comfortable. I was really impressed with, with the ride. And it's very, very efficient. I am driving 120, um, where 100 is permitted, because everyone does, and it takes 203, 203, excuse me, watt hours per kilometer. That's like slightly more than my i3, and it has 544 horsepower. It's so quick. It's just, it's just amazing. I took the kids out in it and they were like, whoa, <laughs> what a power. They were really impressed. They, they, they thought I should never give it back. But hey, I want to keep my job, so it has to go back. But this could be a future car. In all fairness, they're a bit too expensive for me at the moment. But the beautiful thing about these cars is that they only get cheaper. So I have to wait for a bit. Then when the prices start to drop and I saved up some more, this could very well be my next car. 
I think it could be interesting to tow the caravan with this. I'm really curious what what battery usage you will get and, and how many range, uh, how much range there is left. I'm not sure. I think I think it won't be as good. Uh, this car, BMW claims it has over 500 kilometers uh, in in good weather, uh, even with highway speeds. I don't doubt it. If it's as efficient as this, I think I could easily get it. Um, so, yeah, pretty curious. I drove 40 kilometers and I still have 233 left. So that makes it 274 at 63%. So that, that 500 range is pretty accurate. I think you could, you could manage if you drive like 120 on the Autobahn. Kilometers, not miles. Yeah, what a car. It's really good. I know a lot of you are now screaming at your computer like, what about a Tesla Model 3? Yeah, drove one of those, a performance one. And it, yeah, it's, it's even quicker. I think it's, wow. It's quick, it rides really good. Uh, the handling is good, not perfect. Brakes are, eh. Uh, in good Tesla tradition, but the build quality and and the way the car uh, is 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 built like like the the um, drivetrain components are of course exceptionally good with Tesla, but the ride and handling they're just not as good as BMW. The car's not as quiet, and it's yeah. This car is, of course, not as quiet as the i7, but it's still really quiet. And I think if if it wouldn't have the roof, which is now very handy for filming, but if it wouldn't have the roof, it would be even quieter. So, yeah, really impressed by this. And that's that's the fun thing. If you if you are contemplating an EV, ask the salesperson if you can drive it for like two days, because. At first, everyone is only impressed with the tremendous speed of the car. It's like, whoa, it's so quick, oh, it's so quick. But then you look at the range and it has like 200 kilometers of range at 70% state of charge, which is atrocious. But then you start to drive it really easily and you're going to enjoy the silence of the car because it is just, wow, it's just, a lovely way to travel and after that you'll be impressed with how fuel efficient it is because this car now sits at 200 watt hours per kilometer for a car with this performance even if you would drive like an m3 it's 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 basically the same car but in petrol and and just almost the same performance it, it there's a lot of overlap in it but even if you drive that as slowly as you could, like, like 80 in top gear, uh, 80 kilometers in, in, in the highest gear, I think you just engage it, you can't manage to drive it really very efficient because it's a big engine that needs a lot of fuel to give you awesome sound and also awesome driving correct characteristics. This car is heavy. It doesn't handle as good as an M3, let's be honest. And no one is expecting it to be because it's heavier, it's uh, because of that, it's not as nimble, uh, and current M3 is also not as nimble as an old M3, but that's because cars are getting way more safe because of high the, all the high tensile steel that is used. So that's all that you can expect, but this car rides exceptionally well for a car that it weighs this much. It's, it's a bit over two tons. It's, 21 or 2200 I don't even know and I don't even care because a lot of people complain that the car is heavy and it's yes yeah, it's on the limit it's so it's so twisty or, or twitchy or, or it's 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 slow in inputs I don't drive every day on the Nürburgring and even if I would I think this would handle really well because um, the thing on the ring is an electric car will eventually overheat and I think that will be your main concern that the car can't lose its heat quick enough and you lose power but yeah 
you have plenty so I'm, I'm not that good a driver that I could uh, use it all I would like to take this one to the ring though hmm. maybe we need another test drive with a bit more tire wear but we'll see um, yeah that's it for now I just wanted to do a quick update because I'm really really impressed with the car I'm not that big a fan of all these new gray colors like the Brooklyn gray it's it's when I first saw it on the configurator I wasn't like hmm, that could be something for me I still would end up with a blue car personally I think I uh, just think it looks better or the green I really like the San Remo green or even the orange I really like it but yeah and last but not least a BMW i4 40 could very well be the better car because it's plenty quick it has 340 horsepower but it's only rear wheel drive so it steering inputs are a bit better it's even more efficient and it's way cheaper but the performance of this thing it's like a Swiss army knife it can do it all it truly can do it all and on that note I really should end this thank you very much for watching as always I hope you enjoyed the video Please subscribe to the channel. Growth is coming. There will be plenty more videos. I'm planning on cool stuff. And yeah, I just really like EVs. There might even be another car on this channel soon, an extra car. More on that later. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.